Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Libra. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. See what's happening in your love life. I know there's been a lot of changes and transformations uh, going on. A lot of people have being in hermit mode for so long. In most places, people have gone, done a lot of soul searching, a lot of thinking. And it's been quite a change, right? So there's a change coming. I'm seeing it in just about every reading. So here we go, Libra. What is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? What is the overall energy surrounding Libra? Libra. Ooh, there you go. High Priestess. Ooh. Some of you are definitely going within, soul searching, looking for answers. You do have the answers, all right, within yourself, especially if you have Pisces in your chart. Could be a Pisces who's coming towards you. Oh, you have the happiness within you. Some of you are, wow, you're going within and you're really happy. You're, you're becoming emotionally available. You're coming out. Whatever this is, this transformation is, like this change that I feel everyone's going through, the soul searching, the you're coming out on the uh, positive end of this, okay? You have everything you need and uh, you have all the answers you need within yourself. So some of you are kind of keeping it to yourself, but you're feeling, I feel like you're feeling really good. You're learning to trust your intuition and you're, you're really happy, I feel, like you're ready, I feel, to move forward towards Ten of Cups. Yeah, some of you, Libra, are ready for a commitment, ready for marriage. You're ready to be happy. You're going to trust your intuition to do with a situation like this, unless it's a Pisces coming towards you, ready to put all that, whatever it is they've soul searched, they found within themselves, they're ready to put that towards you. There's commitment. There's some kind of a solid foundation here. Beautiful. Trust your intuition as well. That's why the card is here. You may have a highly intuitive person around you. Yeah, so I feel like you're sitting here waiting on the fence. You're waiting for news. Somebody may be, um, you know, gone within trying to make a decision, okay, uh, about how to approach you. They're coming in as their higher self. I feel that you need to do that. I do feel like this person definitely sees a future with you. And I feel like this sitting on the fence, going within was a very good thing for this person. It's like a little bird told them, well, they have the answers within themselves. So, but this, this decision, you could be the person on the fence waiting to hear from this person. Okay, sort of waiting how you're how you're going to deal with this, right? Uh, if it happens, your intuition might be telling you, okay, yeah, this has to do with commitment, stability. Somebody's definitely uh, trying to make a decision about commitment, choosing the right path. Is this right for me? Isn't they're waiting for answers, they're soul searching within themselves. So, yeah, someone's going within a little bit of shadow work, there's a little bit of fear here. Someone has to deal with some fears. Libra yeah there's this look at that a cycle ending wow wow look at that lovely Cancer Pisces Scorpio so you probably have a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio around you okay that's thinking about offering up love putting those cups out there they may call you and they offer that big cup hey do you want to go out let's get together and talk do you want to go here do you want to do this it's getting together out in the community okay Wow, this person's like ready to share you with their friends and family. They're ready to commit. They there's something this person's gone through. They've done some shadow work. There's a cycle that has ended. I feel like they're ready for commitment. They're feeling much more emotionally stable and grounded and reliable. And wow, I feel like you're you're gonna be on the fence trying to decide though. <laughs> but I feel like you're gonna look at this. Okay, I feel like this is you, Libra. Uh, you're going to be very practical about this situation. You're going to look into the future. Do I see this a future with this person? And because I feel like whatever this is, it's taken some time. Uh, I see the earth energy very slow moving, all right, for this person to become grounded. Uh, this person needs to feel safe and secure. Um, they need to feel grounded when it comes to their emotions. I feel like you, I feel like they're trying to figure out how to approach you. They want things to go in their favor. 
So I feel like they're going to offer to take you out, connect with you, or invite you to meet their family, friends, uh, or just get out in the community, um, go have a drink, talk, coffee. I mean, you could go for a walk in the park. Who knows, right? It's it's out in the community. It's an offer. And they, they're ready for love. Yeah, they are ready to put those feelings out there, ready to share their fears. They may have been talking to their friends about this. Their friends said to just put an end to this and keep moving. If you want things in your favor, you got to invite this person out. You you got to be reliable okay so yeah i feel like this is what you're looking at is this person reliable are they stable uh do i see myself with this person you might be you might be looking into the future you actually see yourself married and living with this person but i feel like it's them libra uh they i feel like they have cancer Pisces or Scorpio, definitely a Pisces, but doesn't have to be because there is cancer here as well. I also see um Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. So very interesting. Tell me about this little more here for Libra in this love situation. Ah, so somebody's a little stressed. Yeah, you're a little stressed and worried, so you're going to be practical and grounded. I feel like this person may have regretted not taking you out on dates, introducing to friends and family, going out with you. Um, but I do feel they actually do see a future with you. There's something that... Uh, is over with them okay i feel they've done some shadow work they put an end to their fears it's an old cycle they've gone within and they're feeling better they're feeling emotionally available and ready for love they want things to move forward you're not so sure maybe you're a little bit worried but I feel they see you in the future. They they feel comfortable with you. Uh, they feel like you would fit in with their family, that their mother may even really like you. Or maybe they're worried how your mother will, their mother will view it. It could go both ways, but there's some kind of remorse, regret, a little bit of stress and worry. Yeah, maybe you won't fit in with the family. I don't know. I, I feel like they feel good about that. This is a family card, 10 of water, 10 of cups. It's everyone sharing their feelings. It's getting together uh, to put those cups out there. So I, I feel it's positive. Yeah, there is. They, their mother might be a little bit judgmental. They might be worried about the mother who's kind of holding on to them. Maybe they're the baby of the family. But I feel as though, like, it's sort of like this person. You saw they left you sitting on the fence for a long time. You kind of probably closed out this cycle, feeling like you, there was no future because they didn't introduce you to friends and family. But here they come, right? They want things to move in their favor and. They're done with being afraid, done with hiding their feelings and their emotions. They're coming in as their higher self. They've soul searched. They all, they, all along, they had the answers within. So I feel like you just I, take your time. You're a little bit worried. Like you want to make sure whatever it is that you make the right decision. So because I feel like some time's gone by, you know, a whole cycle has passed. And you've kind of been comfortable on your own, doing your own thing, concentrating on your work and your pentacles, and now you're not sure. So you're worried you're going to make the wrong decision. This person, they're a bit worried maybe their mother or somebody might, they might be, the, like I said, the baby of the family. They might be worried there's some judgment. But I, I do feel like this person is a little worried about some kind of judgment, some kind of decisions to do with the family, the family home. Uh, contracts, legacies, you know, not so much legacies, more about that foundation, right? Uh, is this stable? Like, this is the thing. So, yeah, could be their mother. They're worried their mother uh, may not, you know, their mother, there may be people in here who, they may listen to too many people. All right, too many people's opinions about their own happiness, too. It's possible. Oh, boy, that happens more often. Everybody seems to know what's good for somebody else. And uh, it could be the mother who's holding on and not so sure they see you're this person with you. Okay, it's possible, but it could be you. It could be your own mother. Uh, you could be a mother. I feel like you're, you're definitely used to doing your own thing. And yeah, you hold yourself in high regard. You're used to doing your own thing. You're not so sure if you this person's your hopes and dreams. You're, it feels a little out of reach. Or the mother may, yeah, 
it's going to be a little different for each of you. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're very sensitive. Uh, I feel like they may have been a bit wishy-washy in the past, sort of stop, go, stop, go. But they're done with this past. Uh, I, I feel like they're they're coming out. They're ready to be emotionally available, ready to offer love, to put it out. They're ready for a future, for a commitment. They see you in their future, but it's what other they're they're going on by what other people say. Their family, their friends, and things. And there's somebody here that may be questioning it. And there's a little bit worried. Maybe you're worried that the mother won't like you. Okay, maybe you're a little bit stressed <laughs> that you'll be judged. Maybe you are. You have a family already. You have children or something. Okay, uh, maybe you'll be. You feel like you'll be judged if you're, because you may already have some kind of a, a foundation. You may be part of a family. Like you could be a single mother. Uh, it's possible. You may have older children or something. I don't know. Something's to do with the family and friends. Let's dig into it. All right, Libra. What is this Two of Wands? feel like you're waiting for someone to make a decision about you uh, and this person, this King of Cups, who's ready to love you up, right? They're tired of being afraid. Um, this is family, legacies, inheritance as well, too, the Ten of Pentacles. So there's something to do with that, some kind of fear. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like there's a lack of trust. You're not so sure here if you trust this person. You're sitting on the fence, kind of waiting for news, and it's kind of stressing you out here. You, I feel like you maybe you just don't trust them, or maybe there's someone in the family who's on the fence. You're waiting for news about somebody in that family who's not trusting you, or you don't trust them. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Why is this here? A little bit of mind games. You feel like you're waiting, or you're being playing mind games, or you're up in the head feeling conflicted, okay, about this. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so that's family, home, inheritance, a foundation. So some of you aren't so sure. Uh, I feel like this somebody's on the fence here, and I don't feel like it's your person. Or maybe they were in the past. They had to make a decision. Maybe they weren't sure. Um, I feel like there's mind games, manipulation, some kind of mental stress here to do with family, home, legacy, inheritance. Tell me secrets, mysteries, and fears. High Priestess. I, you know, maybe you're not trusting your intuition right now because you're feeling a little conflicted. So if you feel like you can't trust your intuition right now, that's okay. Just get grounded. Get practical. Take your time. Just breathe. Okay. Do something to make yourself feel good. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself a little bit. Okay. Try to purge and release this. You may have already ended things with this person and then here they come. Like you may have see, felt like it was out of hope, there was no future. And you are you may have already released them and you purged and healed and you may regret it or it could be them as well. So it all depends here, Libra. Here You're the one that has to make the decision or somebody's about to make a decision about commitment with you. Uh, it's a judgment here. Yeah, there's somebody's working on the details. This is going to take a lot of work. Somebody's, you know, not sure this can work. I think this person wants to work on this with you. I do. I, I feel that they're willing. Uh, I do. You know, their friends and stuff may actually say go for it. But you may be the one that's kind of ended this. Like you thought it was over. You may have like felt it was out of reach and you've purged and healed. Now you're comfortable by yourself and you're not so sure you want to put any more work into this. If you actually want to do the work of a commitment to now. Because something has changed. It's, it's a different cycle for them. They're ready to come in and now it's a different cycle for you. Because a, a whole... A whole season, a whole year may have passed for that matter, you know, like a whole cycle. Oh my, no, 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 please don't be so. <laughs> yes, yeah, so somebody here has, they, yeah, somebody's been brave. They're feeling much more brave and more confident. They face their fears. They've gone within. They've done that soul searching, inner healing. They always had the answer within. They just needed the time to get become confident. It has to do with commitment, marriage, living together. Uh, they they probably were on the fence before trying to choose whether they wanted to do it or not because of fears or conflict. Okay, lack of trust in their own in their own uh, intuition. <laughs> 
Yeah, so tell me about this ten of, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there is a lot of possibilities here. So I feel like something ended. Uh, there was a lot of confusion. Things ended. A cycle has ended. There's a lot of possibilities of the way this could go. So some of you have moved on, ended a cycle with somebody, and you feel like you have other options maybe. You're thinking maybe to keep yourself open to move forward towards other options. But yeah, I feel like this person, they've ended the confusion. They're ready now. Like they're they're finished with this. They're done fantasizing. They're done with the confusion. Uh, they do see the possibilities, the wheel of fortune and moving forward with you. And, and there's abundance. They see that within you. But now you're not so sure. Yeah, they want this love. Like, you know, look, see, they see the possibilities of having a loving and nurturing and caring where everyone puts their cups on the table, uh, being part of your family, you part of theirs. They, they, they're they liking it. They're open to it. They're ready. They see the future now. <laughs> oh, we have the three of cups. Yes, but you're not so sure. You're looking into the future and you're not so sure. Okay, I feel like it's you, Libra. You're trying to ground yourself here. Um, there may be somebody in that family that's not sure though I have to be honest about whether they see their their son with you or something like that okay or their daughter however it goes and they're being a little bit you know they're they're concentrating on it thinking about it looking at the details looking into this future to see and they're not so sure if they actually see this okay Maybe this person needed to do more healing, their son, their daughter, whatever. Uh, but I also feel like it's you. So if there is no mother, no issues with that, I feel like... Because there is this Queen of Pentacles. She's sometimes a you know a single mother. Uh, she has, She's the one who holds the money or, yeah, the family legacy. She's planned for the future for everyone. You, you, there's some kind of worry about a decision. But I, most of you, I feel like you've kind of changed how you feel about this you're concentrating on you you've been nurturing you've healed this you've let it go and you're not so sure you some of you are afraid to completely heal and let this go you may make the wrong decision others of you have and now you feel like you have made the wrong decision or you just don't know yeah so here yeah they're going to come in regardless they're going to come in and offer you this cup they're going to ask you out. They're going to put the effort in. They want to do things just right. They're going to put the work in and they're going to do everything just right. They're going to work hard for this. This is somebody who wants to work hard. All right. They see you as worthy, as someone who's just right. And wow. But you're not so sure you want to. Now you're not sure. Here they are offering up this cup. They want to take you out. They may want to say, hey, do you want to go meet my family? And you're freaking out about it. <laughs> now you don't want to really be in the fold or you're not sure you're ready for it. You're definitely purging and healing. You're holding yourself in high regard. You, you know, you, you've done that work yourself. Uh, you're feeling really good. You're kind of happy where you're at. Now it's like it's like too little too late sort of an energy like here they come oh you know hey yeah okay i'm happy now i'm ready for love i'm you know here's my cup let's go come on i'll introduce you to the family you'll be really happy they're really gonna like you and maybe you're not so sure you see a future with them anymore that that's where you want to be you might be busy working and doing your own thing and that's where you're happy you found a happy place within yourself. Uh, you've you've come. You're coming out of something yourself as your higher self, right? You're learning to trust that intuition. But there's a point in here where not so sure. Yeah, there's been a big change and transformation. You've you've healed and ended something and transformed. This situation transformed you. Yeah, there's ending. You're not so sure if you feel the same. If you should end this or let it go forward. And that was what they were worried about at first, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're not so sure. Some of you now want to be free. Where this person was like that, they wanted to be free. They got lots of attention. They had choices and options. Uh, there's an energy of ending something with someone, but it's more like ending a cycle uh, to, with somebody who is, a, you know, it's a soulmate, a connection, a friend, someone you see eye to eye. But you kind of feel like setting yourself free of it. But you're, you're confused, right? And you don't know. You do see the possibilities. This person so does. 
somebody's putting an end to their ego and setting themselves free um, from getting attention from other people. They're ending that cycle in their life to come towards you to connect. And here they are. This is something you were on the fence waiting for. Uh, you weren't sure if you even trusted this person. And, you know, here they come. You were waiting for news all this time. You, know, you really kind of were at this point where you weren't trusting it was ever going to get where you wanted, where you'd ever feel safe and secure. They felt like there was too many secrets, too much hidden emotions, feelings. You didn't feel confident about it, you know, or you did probably in the first place. They did, but now it's kind of turned around. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, I, this person wants to make you an offer. They want to introduce you to the family, bring you into the fold. They see a future with you. They want to build this future. They want to do it right. They want to go about things the right way, though. So they need to bring you into the family fold. They need to introduce you to mom who's not so sure when she looks at the details that you're the right person for her child. I kind of feel that a lot of you, like I said, you have changed how you feel. Tell me about this four of wands. There we go. Yeah. This guy's coming out a lot in the end. And this is what it's telling me when I see this card come out a lot for a lot of people. Regardless if there's Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, whatever it is. I feel like there's somebody here needs to fight for what they want. I feel like this person is coming in to fight for what they want. Now, they do need to be in control. They do kind of have to have some things their way. And I feel... I feel like this person wants to put the work in. They want to do it right. They're ready to see this through. They're ready to go right towards that commitment. They're ready for it. They're going to fight for it. And, uh, you know, when the King of Rods makes up his mind to do something, he, this, this person isn't going to give up on you. They're going to continue working with you, doing everything just right to win you back over. And Because you're not sure now. Now you're sort of in a happy place. You're comfortable doing your own thing. This person may have to fight the whole family and stand up to them, stand up for what they believe in to see this through as well. Because if some of you definitely family are involved, yeah, they want this love. They are fighting for love. They're coming to fight for you, that one, that person. Uh, their cup runneth over with emotions. <laughs> they want this new beginning. They have this whole new way of thinking. Ah. Uh, Boy, how does how does that go, right? When you you want someone, you're waiting. You're not even sure you trust that this is ever gonna you're ever gonna hear what you want to hear, but you're waiting, and then here it comes, right? You wanted the commitment, the marriage. You wanted to build something and feel safe with someone because you weren't sure, and then they were afraid. They didn't have the strength. They kind of wanted to just be free, you know, and. They probably had to set themselves free from something, but when I see the high priestess, they may have been keeping secrets. It's quite possible you didn't know. Maybe, you know, your intuition was telling you that they were getting attention from other people. They may have been connecting with other people, so there was trust issues, and then all of a sudden they come in to pour their heart out. Now, I can see you always have seen the possibilities because uh, you had a lot of love for this person, but I feel like you've had a hard time, and you've got to the point now where you're not so sure you want that anymore you may want to go out and meet new people just be free uh go out and socialize with people and just sort of get that highest emotional fulfillment that way other than that working on your home your own pentacles and just purge and heal this where you may just have purged and healed it and you've just kind of gotten over it uh, you've learned to hold yourself in high regard right you're ready uh you've, you've you're working on your your dreams probably financially it's you're happy and then here they come and now it's like you don't know but you don't want to make the wrong decision you're afraid if you don't make just the right decision that you may end up it's like you don't know if you want to put any work into this you have to decide so oh my goodness i'm sure i'll hear about this i have actually seen some comments where people aren't sure anymore they've had such a hard time they're just ready to like give up on love they've been beaten down it's this uphill battle and when you finally get there you've actually uh, completed a whole cycle in your life and you're just ready for something new you're looking into the future 
and you see your future in a whole different way you see your happiness in a whole different way but please take your time whatever this is okay this is to do with your hopes and dreams this is about releasing things that no longer serve you so some of you have released the idea of being happiness and never getting engaged or married because it's like it was an uphill battle you planned and you waited and you were patient and it never happened and this one particular person was that one and you never got what you wanted from them because they weren't confident and they were probably you, you felt like they were hiding things they just sort of were acting free they may have had a bit of an attitude well <sighs> they're ending that cycle so here you are you know sort of caught in this so I feel like yeah so they're hidden motives you feel you felt like this person had hidden motives in the past right and so now you're not yeah you may still not be so sure you trust it like you want to make the right choice you know like all of a sudden they come back around totally different don't know but this is also yourself it's going within yourself like you know what motivates you what moves you what makes you you know you need to be practical and look into the future like you may not want to put the work into a commitment anymore you may be more committed married to your job now <laughs> okay yeah it's like and it's making you happy you're happy to just go out in the future and just socialize and meet new people and sort of leave it like that or you may just go off and maybe you feel this is maybe this person's the one it's just them and not love in general and you're you want to make offers elsewhere you want to plant that seed somewhere else because um, it's like you gave up on them and healed and then here they come tell me about hidden motives here tell me why this is here professional assistant that tried to come out a sec ago and I was like oh I didn't really shuffle it I was talking about something else but here it came again so yeah I feel like um this person's looking at you differently I feel like they're looking at you I do you know and I'm going to be honest it's like they're looking at you through someone else's eyes like this person definitely was talking to other people about you and I don't know if you like that that everybody knows it's like everyone knew before you or something maybe too like there's something you're looking at and you're being realistic like you're looking into the future like i don't know i don't know if i want to accept this offer i don't know if this is what's going to make me happy at one point this is everything you wanted and this person they do see you as marriage material they want to make this offer they see that future they could be a taurus virgo capricorn okay libra but i feel like there's not a lot of Libra energy here except for the this is you, the decision made about you or a decision you're about to make to do with commitment, marriage. Some of you are married to your work. You're not so sure, but I feel like I, I feel like this person is not going to give up. I can tell you that right now. This is someone who wants to see things through. They are not they're gonna keep putting that cup in your face until you take it. This person works hard. They have a solid foundation, you know. They, they do have um, what it takes. For, but something was, they just didn't feel confident at some point. But I feel like it's you. You're not so sure, like, whether, like, you feel, maybe that you feel like this person's uh, coming towards you for attention, that they may be keeping secrets, okay, that maybe they haven't really changed and they have someone else, like, you've got your doubts, okay, because of something that happened or just, like, you're, you're pretty conflicted here because I think this person left you sitting too darn long. They left you alone with your thoughts and you know what happens when you're in your head a lot waiting for somebody who doesn't communicate, they don't tell you what's going on, they all of a sudden, oh, well, hello, I love you. They're looking at you through someone else's eyes, but they are looking at you differently and it's telling you, um, yeah, they're asking other people. They're looking at you through somebody else's eyes, someone else's opinions involved. But for some of you, this person is looking at you different than they did before. And it's maybe something you need to do. Look at them differently. Look at the situation differently. There's some kind of light, some kind of truth here on this book he's holding. See, he's holding it and he's looking to see what her reaction is. You see, he's looking at it and he wants to see what her reaction is. And she's kind of like, huh. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but hmm, okay, yeah. You know, 
you want to know what this person's motives are, like what made them change their mind and come back around, what moves this person, what moved them to change. And you're being realistic. You want to, yeah, so see, the Empress. People. There are people involved in this. There's... This person does, he's looking at her like, see, do you get it? Do you see the light? Like, I've seen the light. Do you get it? Right? That kind of thing. And But they've talked to other people who've helped expose something to them. And, like, somebody has brought something to their attention about you. I feel that. Or, you know, take it however it resonates. But this person sees you as the empress. They see you as that person, that one Oh, they do, but there's, you know, you want to make sure they have no one else. It's like there's some things that you still need to know. I feel like you, a lot of you just released this already and you're not so sure you, this person's your hopes and dreams anymore. Like you're, it's like you've changed. Yeah, you're a bit burdened. It's like you, you have a lot of responsibilities. It's like you don't know if you want any more responsibilities. Uh, this person, too, they need to come in and heal this. They need to take responsibility. For those of you that there was a person that actually had someone else, okay? But I actually feel like this person is transformed. They have the answers in themselves how to transform this connection, how to see it different, to get on the same page, okay? There's something they needed to set themselves free from, and that was fears, to gain that strength and confidence, and I feel like that's what happened. But whatever it is, they, this things ended with a lot of confusion. You felt this, you ended it because they had their options open. But I don't know if that's so true. So be realistic. Take your time. Don't, because I, do, I think you kind of get it. Like you're not sure if you want to give this person another opportunity. You want to make the right choice. So yeah, so be careful what you wish for. That's how you're feeling. Like you want to make sure this person's giving you what you want. Not a just... Oh, they're going to come and tell you they love you and then turn around and it it happens. You're burdened by this and I feel like you just it's like you just want to release it and let it go and forget about it cuz it causes you a lot of stress. But this person they regret not offering you love, not taking you out, not uh, coming forward and offering you that cup. But it's like here they are. See, this is what you're worried about. Here they are coming in as the King of Cups, all full of love, right? Ready to offer that cup. Oh, I love you. You're everything. I want to go out. I want to introduce you to my family and friends. I want to be you to be part of my life. Let's get engaged. Let's get married. You know, they talk the talk and they put it out there and it's like a big happy, happy, but you're not so sure. Okay, you're looking into the future here. They see you in their future. They see you as that person or as what they're telling you. But you're afraid that they're going to turn into this wishy-washy and everything's going to start over, that they won't put the work in. It'll never, this is never going to work because they're going to start getting wishy-washy. One foot in the door and one foot out. That's your worry. Do you want to repeat this or not? Yeah, see, holding yourself in high regard. Something here needs to be healed. You, whatever you do, here's you just make sure they hold you in high regard and continue to do that. Do not put any more work. Make the decision not to put any work into it until they have put lots of good heart work into you, until they fight for you. And that love, that cup has to runneth over. There needs to be a solid commitment. Make them fight for you so they don't give up. And then you know. When they chase you and they don't stop, that's when you know. Okay? Libra, you are definitely uh, in this place where you're not so sure about this person. And I, some of you uh, that are older and mature that have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, that really grounded energy, and you don't have to have it in your chart. You're kind of like feeling like your happy place is either somewhere else or you not really see yourself in that way anymore. You don't really see yourself with that person and their family your 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 outlook is your money uh that's who you're married to now okay kind of that sort of thing so take care all right and i'm going to just do a few outcome cards and we'll let this go yeah optimism so stay optimistic but hold yourself in high regard see if this person has released uh their fears okay um it just seems a little out of reach at this person because this is what you've, you're worried about is that they're going to start that one foot in the door, one foot out. Like they're going to come in all loved up to get what they want and then bang, back to that same old 
coming to see you. Oh, let's go have a drink. And they come hang out. They want a little romance and off they go. So we have the honoring path. Make sure this person holds you in high regard. Make sure they honor you. Make sure they actually fight for you. That's the only way to know. If they continue to put the work in and they keep working you to make that decision, they keep working towards a commitment. And make You want proof, right? This is proof. It's contract. You want this written in stone. <laughs> If this person was dishonest or something happened or you felt they were and you have that trust, you need to let them know too. So yeah, there's something that here you need to learn as you go, okay? Uh, I feel like some of you may have tried to teach this person a lesson at some point too. They may have learned a few things, but make sure you pay attention. There's something here that you may have needed to learn through this process. And I'll tell you the one thing that you've learned is to hold yourself in highest regard, to treat yourself like a star. Okay, you want this person to, you know, I'm not saying that you have to put on a pedestal, but you want to make sure that they, they've learned that, okay, because you've definitely learned to love yourself, and once you learn to love yourself, sometimes how you view love and the people who come towards you, you see it all different, like, do I really, you know, you're much more practical, you're kind of happy in your own little happy place, so... You know, you've learned this, and this is, you've learned some valuable lessons here, so whatever you do, don't, don't screw it up by letting this person come in and you doing all the work, okay? No, no, no. Ascended Masters, yeah, so some of you, <laughs> yeah, you've been on, you're on the spiritual path, you are awakened here, you know, you are learning to trust that intuition, okay, you got the Ascended Masters here from all four corners, so, oh, beautiful energy, this is, there's, there is abundance, there's prosperity, okay, something that can repeat here in this situation, you don't want to repeat what you've learned you've you have completed some very important lessons here uh, if you are capable of doing this and making sure this person works if they do not you take control and you go off in another direction and you offer your love to another person okay or you stay by yourself and do whatever it is that makes you happy so there is a seed of doubt here i feel for some of you because you've gone through a lot of changes so hold on to that do what's right for you Take some time, all right, to work out the details. So, all right, I wish you guys the best. You've definitely uh, learned some lessons. And I, whatever it is, it's going to serve you very well in the future, whether it be in love or work. And it's all about you, okay? Uh, you have a lot of burdens that have been released. You've taken responsibility, okay, uh, for your money, your finances, your inner self, your health, for your own healing. And it's lovely. It's, it's over now. So... Lovely. All right. Take care. I wish you guys all the best. Bye for now.